In this video, I'll show you how to easily resize or change the size of a photo in pixels online for free. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, for this video, we are going to be using a tool called Watermarkly Photo Resizer and it helps you resize your photos on your browser and no downloads needed. Now, so whether you want to resize one photo or hundreds, these tools makes it fast, simple and it's free. Now. Let's jump in into this video and I'll show you how to use Watermarkly to easily resize your photos online for free. Now, this is the website watermarkly.com and I'm in the photo resizer section. So I'll leave the link in the description below and this is the interface that you get. A pretty clean interface and in the middle here is resize images. You can select images or drag your files here. If I click on select images, you'll see the option from my computer Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Photos, Web Link. Now, take a note that files stay private. We process files on your device and we do not send your files to our servers and never store them. So, let's go ahead and select our photo uh, that we want to resize. And I do have a couple of photos that I've downloaded on pexels.com uh, that we can actually use. So, let's decide whichever we want to go with. And I'm going to use the option to select images click on this and then I'll select from my computer and navigate to the folder that I have this uh, photo in, click on it and then click on open. Once you click on open, you're going to get a couple of options. So how do you want to resize your image? Either by exact width and when you click on the drop down, exact height, exact width and height, not larger than and percentage. It really depends on what you want to work with. Let's say we go with something like exact width and height. Click on it. And from here, you get the width in pixels and the height in pixels. Now, you can see the original is 54, 72 by 36, 48 to 3000 by 2000. So looks good. Nothing much to say there, but you can always make any tweaks that you want. Let's say you make it bigger. And as you do that, you see the values change here. You can also type in, let's say 4,000 and you can see what it looks like. And then maybe we do this one to be 2,500 and you can see the changes in real time. Next up, we have the options to generate pixels around image to obtain required size, crop image if necessary, more or less for different aspect ratios, add white pixels around image to obtain the required size. Let's say we go with generate pixels around image to obtain the required size. Click on that. And then how do you want it? High quality resize. This may be a little bit slow, but it's better to have a high quality file size. Now, what file format do you want to save this as? You can click on this drop down and you're going to get a couple of options. Convert to JPEG, standard quality, normal file size. And then the different options are going to be outlined here. JPEG, maximum quality, large file size. JPEG and compressed standard quality, small file size, PNG, maximum quality, large file size, WebP, standard quality, small file size, WebP, maximum quality, large file size. Let's say we go with maybe a JPEG, standard quality, normal file size. So let's say we go with that. And then we have a couple of options here. If the additional options are not uh, selected, click on that. And what this does is that you get a new drop down that allows you to keep original file name, click on that, and then you'll see rename files to image one or JPG ATC or add a suffix to process files. I'll click on that and we're going to add a suffix and then I'll click on resize images. It's working. And once that is done, you can download all Google Photos, Dropbox, and you can see it here with the suffix of resized. I'll click on it right here and it's going to download instantly. If I click on the show in folder, it's in my downloads folder. It's right here. It's this particular image. And if you actually uh, look at it, you can see the dimensions as 4000 by 2500. And the original is in 5472 by 3648. If I double click the original, let's just reduce size. That's the original uh, right there. Looks good. And this is uh, the resized one right here. Looks good as well. 
it's very difficult to notice if there's any change uh, whatsoever right there but that is how you can easily resize images online for free pixel whatever you want using watermarkly photo resizer i hope this video is of value to you thank you so much for watching and until next time stay safe and never stop learning